as much of a breather as we've had the past couple days. Um, today's a little higher skill, a little bit of a movement challenge for you folks. Um, uh, and we're doing it in intervals. So um, Kyle's going to be behind the camera and magically in front of the camera at the same time. My brother Lyle over there. Lyle's behind the camera. Behind the lens. All right. Uh, workout today is going to be eight rounds. Uh, every two minutes we're going to do a round. It's going to be uh, 10 alternating dumbbell snatch. Only the goal that you guys all know uh, standards for this. Both heads of the dumbbell start on the floor. Finishes dumbbell overhead. Don't use the other hand to help. You can switch in the air if you want. You can put it down, switch to the ground. I don't care. As long as you go hips, shrug, full punch. All right? Second movement in uh, the intervals a single arm overhead squat. So I know this has given people trouble in the past. So before you actually start the workout today, we want you to figure out if you can do these, do them safely. Um, so practice them. Practice them with a uh, soup can, a gallon of uh, water, something progressively heavier until maybe you get to your dumbbell weight, maybe not, all right? Um, single arm overhead squat. Try to keep your arm as close to your body as you can, stacked up over your midline. Everything else about a squat is normal. Sending your hips back, pushing up on the dumbbell. Okay, five on each arm. If you absolutely can't find your scale for the workout today, find a broom handle, find a PVC if you've got one, find a rake, whatever you've got. Okay, and just give me 10 overhead squats instead, all right? Um, and then finally finishing up each round with 20 double unders. If you don't have them, you can do double tap drill or mountain climbers. So you guys don't know what mountain climbers. One, two, three, four for 20 reps. Cool? Cool. Ready? Let's do it. I don't got my BCF stuff on. Wardrobe change. Let's get it. Alright, stop what you're doing, cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I look funny. But yo, I'm making money, see? So yo, world, I hope you're ready for me. Now gather round. I'm the new fool in town, and my sound's laid down by the underground. I drink a bottle of Hennessy you got on your shelf. So just let me introduce myself. My name is Humpty, pronounced with the Humpty. Yo, ladies, oh, how I like to funk thee. And all the rappers in the top ten, please allow me to bump thee. I'm stepping tall, y'all, and just like Humpty Dumpty, you're gonna fall when the stereos pump me. I like to rhyme, I like my beats funky. I'm spunky, I like my oatmeal lumpy. I'm sick with this straight gangster Mac. But sometimes I get ridiculous. I'll eat up all your crackers and your licorice. Oh, yo, fat girl. Come here, are you ticklish? Yeah, I caught you fat. Look you warm? You breathing? Very good. Oh, my. No mas. Hmm? You ready? Well, we gotta practice the overhead squat stuff. Oh, God. Yeah. Not everyone's as good as you at single arm overhead squats. Hey, look at this squat. Yep. Yeah. Squat, yep. What's up? Oh shoot. What's up? Oh, camera doesn't even, camera broke. It's like, what just happened? What did I just watch? Squat check. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. All right, so overhead squat, single arm overhead squat. Tough movement. Um, we want to slow you guys down a little bit today. We don't want you to have to breathe as hard. We had two breathy workouts in a row. Tomorrow, depending on not, whether or not you recover, if you use it as an active recovery day or you just kind of mobilize and stretch it out is probably gonna be breathy also. So today we wanna to slow it down, work a little bit more skill work, be a little bit more deliberate with how we move, um, and the movements themselves demand that. So that's what we're after today. Pro tips for the overhead squat, single arm overhead squat. It's not as simple as just kind of pushing it up behind you and squatting. You're gonna to have to twist a little bit, and you have to think about pushing up and back a little bit more than you normally do with a barbell. Okay, because the, the dumbbell wants to get away from you. It does not want to stay right above your shoulder, especially if you have tight shoulders. So this is going to be a challenge for some of you folks. All right? But as long as you're letting your shoulders sit down and back, you're pushing up and staying active on the dumbbell, you give yourself a little tiny bit of a twist as you sit your squat. Notice how I'm kind of sitting to the side. It makes it a little bit easier to keep that weight right over my center base support. Okay? Um, my suggestion is probably start in your weaker arm as you make your way up in weight. It makes it a little bit easier to kind of know what you're capable That's already hard for me. <laughs> uh, but it gives you an idea of what you're capable of. All right? All right. Uh, 
practice. 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 Talking about practice. I'm ready. Alright. I'm warm. Me, I'm skinny. It never stopped me from getting busy. I'm a freak. I like the girls with the brooms. I once got busy in a bathroom. I'm crazy. Allow me to amaze thee. They say I'm ugly, but it just don't faze me. I'm still getting in the keys, and I even got my own dance. Nose will tickle your My nose is big. Uh uh, I'm not ashamed. Big like a pickle. I'm still getting paid. I get by the ladies. You know I'm in charge. Both how I'm living and my nose is large. What was the hardest part? Okay, it's class. Yeah, it was really hard. Okay, it's class. Really hard for sure. You gotta. I, don't try not to let the weight sink into your shoulder. Yeah, you have to push it away. Yeah, as you get tired. I noticed. You're pushing up, not only from your back and your shoulder, but you're also pushing up your ears trying to be as tall as possible. Yeah. Mountain climbers, I'm broken. Yeah. Yeah. What's always hard for you? PR. That's not blood, that's paint. Uh, harsh part was still the overhead squats, and I have a pretty good single arm overhead squat, and you guys can see it kind of fall apart in that workout. So really take your time. Um, in the beginning, really take your time to try and figure out what your scale should be. It should be a challenging but doable scale. Kyle dropped it down to three reps mid-workout. Um, you could do one, one and one. The point of those in the workout is not to be some kind of conditioning stimulus. It's meant to, my shoulders are getting tired, that's why I keep getting closer. It's meant to be um, a skill, a skill builder, a challenging skill. All right, so take your time with them. If it's one and one, try to do the best you can. If you're doing double, double arm overhead squats with a PVC, take your time. Do the best overhead squats you've ever done in your life. Soup cans. Soup cans will work. Yeah, take your time. Doesn't matter what you're using. All right? All right, that's all she wrote? That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Peace!